I'm part of this. This is something that's within me. I've always wanted to know like my background. This is a part of who I am. I think people are a lot more connected than they think they are. Everything that I know is Iowa and raised in Iowa. The opportunity was just one step closer to figuring out my whole story. I don't have any knowledge of who my family is beyond my great-grandparents. And I know we're just from Puerto Rico. We're just from that place. Maybe knowing where those people come from kind of can help me know where I stand in the world in a way. Um, I was always told I was like French and German um, and European, so that's what I kind of figured, but I wasn't exactly sure, so I was just kind of interested to find out for real. What... I was born and raised in Southwest Iowa, so mm -hmm. that's all I knew. And my mom's uh, grandfather actually was from Germany. Okay. So that's about the only direct um, source that we knew of from mm -hmm. Germany. My parents honoring my Korean heritage, they, I mean, my middle name is G, which was my given Korean name. Just their openness to have the conversations and for me to ask questions about Korea and their whole adoption process. Um, I think their openness has really allowed me to be comfortable and want to know more about my heritage. So my mom basically just told me that I was German, Swedish, and Norwegian. And that's about it. She said, you might be a little bit Irish, but that's a, like that's it. That's all you got. And I was like, okay, well that sounds kind of boring. Like, <laughs> I'm Latino, but being Puerto Rican means so many things. I just wanted to know exactly what m makes this to make me. So I think that'd be really interesting if I had something different to find out like who they are and their story. Okay. So are you excited uh, yeah. about that part? I think that'd be cool. Okay. Yeah, that'd be really interesting. Any apprehensions before you look at your results? No. No? I'm not no. Okay, well let's do it, man. Okay. Open it and let's see what you got. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm 46% Western European, 38% from Great Britain, and then the trace regions are 6% Italy or Greece, 3% Iberian Peninsula, 2% Irish, 2% Scandinavian, 2% Eastern Europe European, and 1% Finnish. I did not think I was 38% British. <laughs> That's interesting. I never would have guessed that. Because my last name Belanger, like in French, it means like baker or like bread maker. Okay. So I, I figured I was I was French, but I had no clue I was British. 100% from Europe. <laughs> okay. So it also says that there is no Native American in my DNA, which is pretty surprising. Um, I am 67% from Europe West. I mean, a little surprising not being any portion of my DNA Native American. Mm -hmm. This is just an estimate, but that was always something that my dad's side of the family really mm -hmm. felt they knew about their oh. DNA. And What kind of caught my attention is like, what I was taught growing up was true in a way because I'm 24% African, 14% Native American, and 59% European. Um, what really um, surprised me was that European means different things. I'm 10% Great, I'm 10% British, 6% Italian, and 5% European Jewish. 31% uh, Western European, 28% uh, Great Britain. Uh, 20% Ireland, Irish, and then 15% Scandinavian. And then I have less than 1% from Western Asia. Uh, Caucasus. Okay. Uh, so. So that's. So uh, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Turkey. Okay. So. Okay, what do you think of that? It's. Because even when it's a 1%, what was your take of that? I don't know. It's 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 something that I wasn't expecting, but it's really cool. I'm 54% Swedish, 
Like, I feel like that's a big percent. I always, like, I don't know, like, I thought there'd be just a bunch of, like, little mini ones, but that's a, I feel like that's a good chunk. Okay. <laughs> um, and then 22% British, which I didn't expect at all. I didn't, like, my parents never said anything about British. Um, 7% Irish, which makes me really excited. <laughs> I'm not seeing German on here, though, which is another one of the big ones that my parents told me I was a part of. So I found it. It's under European West, and it's less than 1% German. I'm more North African than I am German. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> That's so exciting. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's what I expected. <laughs> I mean, um, especially looking at the map, um, it's a very broad area, so it doesn't really pinpoint anything for me, but everything is what I've been always told, so <laughs> I wasn't surprised, but felt more comfortable, maybe. It's crazy that I'm not just like half this, half this, or even a fourth. I am one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts of something. So that's, that's awesome. There are so many things that make me, and that just opens me up to include be inclusive of other people who are different from me because, hey, I'm both white and African and Native American and, and one person, that is possible, that is okay. I think people are a lot more connected than they think they are. Like, obviously I'm not just three or four things. Like, there's a lot of stuff on this list. And so I think just knowing that, like, everyone is connected somehow, Crazy. It's surprising, but it's also interesting. I want to know more how you grew up and the experiences that you were immersed in versus what my life could have been like had I not been adopted and um, still lived in Korea and my life was Korean. You know, everybody says that your personality and who you are, you're so much like your mother. And I'm like, <laughs> I guess that I guess that's nurture. Your personality is nurture, and what you look like, and um, your body type, and everything like that. That would be nature. <laughs> I mean, I could say just knowing is the most exciting for me. But then, what that opens the door to, I think, is it opens a door for me to explore. I'm from all these different little parts of Europe, and. I mean, I'm sure there's like a lot of rivalry between countries and I bet there's a lot of people that are related to each other and have no clue and they like discriminate against them or they're not fans of each other. I thought it was kind of funny because a lot of like Vikings originated from Sweden and like being at Grand U Vikings, I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, let me ask you this, uh, do you feel more diverse than when you came in before looking at the results? Yeah, um, I feel like not just a Southwest Iowa <laughs> girl. I mean, um, it's just awesome to see that I'm from so many other places. I think it just affirmed what I've always believed and it just affirmed my stance on inclusion and that all these different things can come together and make a person 